Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are going to take a look at some uh, good news, I would say. And good news are the only news for today. So what is the status? We are currently in the final stages before releasing the open beta and there are only a few more things to do in polishing up things and killing some bugs and so on before we can release the Kraken. And what we are going to take a look at today is just very general stuff. Um, I will be showing you through the different tabs and show you how they have changed. And um, also a small test comparison between the uh, five main car stats of different types of cars, really. Uh, we are currently still balancing a bit in, in that, mainly uh, Martin and I. And it's it's looking pretty good. It's playing really well so far, but without like just babbling along. Let me show you. As you can see here, we have a list of platforms which all sound weird. So uh, this little platform is the test platform, all of them, is from a series of tests for the five main car stats. And I've been building a, a lightweight sports car, which uh, we track throughout the decades to see um, how performance and um, how the main car stats change. So let's jump into this one. I have not designed them, of course. It's just for testing purposes. The only thing you really need is a grill because who cares about headlights, right? So yeah, let's go into this one, revise the model and see what it does. And um, let's check the wheels. They are probably still broken, yes. All right, so that's the only thing that doesn't change. Okay, so here we go. Um, nothing changed on this tab, nothing changed here apart from, well, we still have to fix the saving bug there. I think it's already fixed, but not in my version yet. So this one looks all right. I think that was fixed. So here, yeah, aerodynamics, a bit more spacing, looks good. And interior, right, the interior tab has changed a bit. It looks nicer now. It has the three quality bars on top of each section so that it is uh, having a bit more space down here. Too bad it uh, is obscuring the semi-transparent info area down here, but um, we are not having any uh, proper descriptions in this release anyway because we want to get it out at some point and uh, translating and all this stuff that takes a long time and there will be plenty of uh, well not plenty even two two or three more bigger updates um, before the early access release which is a few months away so okay right uh, I have built this a um, little four seat car it's a sporty very sporty car indeed um for nine this is actually 1940s like 1940 not even 1940 so before the game even starts i built an inline six with 1.4 liters um and i think this dual overhead cam and yeah so standard stuff this uh pretty aggressive camber and stuff and right height but yeah that's looking pretty good so uh, what are we getting here we are having uh, problems reaching the 200 kilometers an hour because the car is not very aerodynamic it has some nice rounded edges but it has a very steep um, a very steeply sloped windscreen and this flat front doesn't help either and 10, uh, almost 11 seconds from 0 to 100, not optimal. But let's go to the test track. And as you can see here, this also looks a bit better now. We have um, live data still on there. And we have cut away the, what you, the weight transfer graph to make everything look a bit nicer. It wasn't really needed. And you still have the power and the body bump, of course. And you're right. Ooh, this is, <laughs> this is a really neutral car. Uh, kind of dangerous. Anyway, let's see how this one performs uh, on maybe the airfield track. Ooh, look at this shiny stuff. This is a certain track uh, you might uh, remember. 
It is not only an airfield track, it is THE airfield track, if you understand my meaning. So that is that is working uh, the normal way, and I think let's see a lap time of uh, uh, one minute and forty-seven is not really that good on that track, uh, but well, it's nineteen forty after all. All right, so um, that's those, and what more do I want to show you? Maybe, maybe. The, the most modern version in there. Just um, let's just drive it. Yeah, that is a bit a wee bit faster. Let's see what the wheels are doing. They were not saved. Oh, this is the front tires. Damn it. Uh, rear tires probably like this. All oh, right. And let's go to the test track. So what does this one do? It's um, 214.5 kilowatts in a sub one ton car, which is pretty good. It's a sporty car, or it's a sports car, and the engine is especially sporty. It revs to 9.5, but this is 2020, naturally aspirated. Goodness! It's definitely faster. Um, 84 seconds, so 1 minute 24. That's a pretty decent time on this track, I would say. Um, they are not quite calibrated yet. I think they are slightly slow. Um, not quite sure though. There's a bit more work to do on those um, by adjusting grip. And we still haven't faked cornering um, like you're, you're driving a constant speed through the corners right now instead of like breaking into the corners properly and slowing down towards the apex and then accelerating out. Instead we are keeping constant speed. Which is unrealistic and should make times slower on average. So yeah, um, maybe we will be getting around to changing that but no, nothing is uh, for certain there. So the final thing I would like to show you is a little stat comparison really. And uh, we have tested several diff different types of cars and taken a look at their main car stats, which you would be seeing here. That is looking pretty interesting. So we do have a very good range of the stats already. Some of the features and, well, components really you can choose are still missing. So that really means that you you can't get to the extreme really to the extremes for example for comfort when you go to the luxury version the comfort is kind of low-ish 64 or medium high but not really getting to the absolute maximum of um, it should have at least something like 80 or something but what you really see in those is that to, in order to get there you would need active suspension parts which make the ride much smoother. And we don't have those yet. So I guess it's fine to have that at 64. Then we have the supercar at about ish 80 sportiness, which sounds fine to me. Uh, tameness is getting really high for the sports car I've built, 66.4. And that one should be, um, should be really good handling on average. So it makes sense. Very high sportiness on that one as well. Not as high as the supercar, of course. And the cheap mini car, which is really cheap and really nasty, has a superb prestige value. <laughs> so that makes perfect sense. Um, for regarding safety, the larger and heavier you are, the better, of course, because then you can crush cheap mini cars. And um, yeah, this is all looking pretty good. Uh, very much looking forward to getting this update out to you. It will probably be somewhat finished early next week so we're trying to get all the main things done tomorrow on sunday and monday 
and then have a release before the guys in Australia are moving over to New Zealand which I think the flight is booked for the 5th of April and before that we want to have you guys playing this update. Alright, I guess that is it. Hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.